So we have 10,000 hives here in New Zealand, and I'm responsible for making sure that they're healthy. So my name's Megan Taylor, and I study bees here in New Zealand. Honeybees really need, because they're flying around so much and they're expending so much energy, they need really high quality food. What the workers do is they go out and they forage for a manuka plant, and once they find it, and once it's got lots of nectar, what they'll do is they'll collect that nectar and they'll bring it back and they'll suck it up through their mouth parts, which is essentially like straws, and then they'll hold it within their crop, bring it back to the colony, and by the time it gets back to the colony, they've added enzymes to it, and then they drop it into the cell. And then once it's in the cell, they continue to add more and more. Other jobs of different bees will be to fan the honey and to fan it and to reduce the water content. And by doing that, then you're starting to get more towards honey. And then once you have honey, once it's ripe, they call it ripe honey, it gets capped by the bees. And then once it's capped, it's ready to be extracted. And they actually end up collecting far more honey than is required throughout the year to sustain them. And I like to think of honeybees, they're essentially the overachiever in the animal kingdom. They collect far more honey than they need, so we only collect the honey that they don't need to sustain themselves throughout the winter and throughout the season. We're basically just collecting the excess. Mm -hmm.